You I'm Harriet Cornell. I'm chairwoman of the Rockland County Legislature, and I'm also the founder uh, and chair of Rockland Schools of the 21st Century, which we call 21C. Uh, I'm also very proud of our Rockland County Schools. Um, I was astounded 50 years ago when I had my first child at the amazing learning capabilities of infants. Uh, and uh, today I want to tell you why early education is so basic to learning and achievement throughout school and beyond. And that by paying attention to the solid research available to us on how children learn and understanding the need for family, school, community, and government to work together, we can create the New York that we want of questing minds, uh, productive and creative innovators, and lifelong learners. 17 years ago, I had the privilege of meeting Dr. Edward Ziegler, who many of you know was called the father of Head Start, and learned about his uh, School of the 21st Century Initiative, which he developed at Yale's Center in Child Development and Social Policy. Um, he, certainly his experience with Head Start and the ongoing research that he continued to do on participants and their siblings and their families uh, provided him with extraordinary access to information about what works in early childhood education and the need for schools and agencies to provide young children with every opportunity for educational success in life. Uh, the Yale program melded hard research with common sense. Children don't start learning when they enter kindergarten, they start learning from birth. They learn better if their parents are involved in their learning. They learn better if they're not hungry. They learn better if they're out of school hours or filled productively, including play. And the education of children requires the help of all the major institutions that touch a child's life. Family, community in the broadest sense, and school. You heard earlier this summer from Kate Breslin of the Schuyler Center uh, when she testified 75% of brain growth and 85% of intellect, personality, and social skills develop before age five. So back to Dr. Ziegler. I worked with him and with uh, advocates in Rockland County to create the schools of the 21st century. Um, the goal is to promote the optimal growth and development of children beginning at birth and create lifelong learners. Uh, in Rockland County, just a quick snapshot before I tell you about some of our unique programs. Uh, we may be the smallest county geographically, but we have some of the most significant numbers of immigrant and low-income families. Uh, our East Ramapo School District, approximately 75% of our income in kindergarten students are believed to be English language learners. Uh, and beyond the five boroughs of New York City, Rockland County has the highest percentage of limited English proficient students in the state. We have extreme pockets of poverty in some of our communities. One of our elementary schools in Haverstraw, 99% of the students qualified for free lunch last year. Um, the, uh, I, I'll just tell you, I won't go into the programming. Uh, we have established 45 family resource centers in our schools in Rockland County, working with the families and encouraging families to bring their infants to school. And it creates this partnership between the schools and the families. Um, the programs that are run, obviously, are things having to do with nutritional information, where to get social services, health services, etc. The, um, this, this uh, you have not heard before, uh, but 10 years ago, we expanded our services by establishing a literacy-based home visiting program. It's called Parent-Child Home, uh, and it offers home visits to low-income families that have been identified by their school districts. Participating families, about half of whom do not speak English, are visited twice a week for 23 weeks when the child is two years old, and then again for 23 weeks when the child is three. We train AmeriCorps members for this purpose. Uh, we model rich verbal interaction strategies using books and toys that we leave each week. Um, and the goal, of course, is to level the playing field. The schools that have been doing this have followed these children they enter at a, um, the same level as their more affluent peers, and they not only maintain that, but often exceed that as they go through school. 
Um, Ellen Galinsky, a Rockland resident who is an expert on child development and has done seminal research on the changing family while on the Bank Street faculty, has written a book called Mind in the Making, uh, and I think it's important for people to know that this reveals important insights into the science of early learning uh, and the brain development. I think these are things many of you know, so I won't really go through that. I just wanted to say that um, outside the education community, in the uh, law enforcement community, in the homeland security community, people are recognizing that unless we deal with early education, we are really missing out. And uh, while we have, uh, what is it, a, th a third of our population um, are children, they're all of our future. So I have really synthesized uh, my paper. I gave some to Kate earlier. She's got my testimony. And uh, I'm sure you'll all receive it.